guys, this is Kalura Hudson of Wally Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to attach fringe pieces to a knitted garment. Normally, when you attach fringe, you'll do it to the end of your knitted piece as, as a shawl or a blanket. In this instance, we're actually going to attach it to the front of the knitted garment on this shawl. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now in this pattern, I actually have you do two pieces of the fringe and I have you cut them to five inches. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to grab my yarn. Okay, I've got this wool roving from Hedgehog Fibers and I'm just going to measure it out, as I said, to five inches. And I'm just going to grab everything I need here and use this ruler. Trying to keep that on the screen where you guys can see it. Okay, so I'm going to measure two pieces to five inches. So basically, I'm just going to measure one piece to 10 inches. And then I'm going to cut that in half. There we go. So I've got two five inch long pieces of fringe. And in this particular pattern, I would have you, I believe it's 130 pieces that you're going to cut to five inches. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do these two. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and lay out that shawl. So you can see better what I'm doing here. And I went ahead and removed one of the pieces of fringe so you could actually see how I attach this to the shawl. So for this shawl, I have these contrast color stripes that are knitted in a garter, which means I just knit the back. I knit the front in the new color, and then I knit the back of the shawl in the same color. So what that does is it creates these little smiley face bumps. And we're actually going to be attaching our fringe into the lower bump. So not the one that goes over like a rainbow, but the one that looks like a smiley face. And I attached one into this and I've skipped one and then I'm going to go into the next one. And then as you can see, I skipped this one and went into the next one. So this is where we're going to be attaching our fringe pieces. Okay, so I'm going to grab those two five inch pieces that I cut and I'm going to take my crochet hook. I knitted this shawl in a 12 millimeter number 17 needle. So I'm just going to go down a few sizes. I'm going to use the nine millimeter hook for this. Just something that fits comfortably into those bumps. So I'm going to insert it from the bottom to the top and then I'm going to grab the two fringe pieces, make sure they're even, and I'm going to fold them in half. And then I'm going to pinch the ends just so I can access that place where we folded them in half. And then I'm going to use my crochet hook to go in through the middle and I'm going to pull on the fringe pieces to catch those two pieces of fringe and then I'm going to pull it through to the bottom of that purl bump. Now, very carefully, I'm going to kind of pull it taut, get these pieces out of the way so you can see better. I'm going to pull that taut, that loop on the hook, and I'm going to yarn over with the tails, the two tails of the fringe piece. And I'm going to pull that very carefully through that loop that I made. And now I can just pull taut on those loops like so. And you can see I have this nice little uh, piece of the two strands of fringe. And that is all you do to attach it to your knitted piece. And for this particular shawl design, since I'm using roving, it, it can get a little bit <laughs> poofy as you can see. And a tip that I have for you to just keep this uh, controlled a little better is to just take a steam iron and lightly steam that. And then you can either use a comb or just your hands to kind of rake through to kind of calm down that wool roving. 
And you can even do that with your plied yarns too. It just kind of relaxes the fibers and lets them lay down a little, a little nicer and flatter. And then at this point, if you want, you can take your scissors, just a nice pair of sharp scissors, and you can even up your fringe like so. Just want to be really careful that you're not cutting your actual knitted piece when you're doing that. But that is how we attach fringe to the front of a knitted garment. I hope this video and this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.